second half. More of the Micah Davenport show. How about this? <laughs> he is unbelievable. Great reverse slam. He ends up with the game I-27. Harrisburg is on to win at 69-53. And let the celebration commence. The Cougars are state champions for the very first time. Really came into a good basketball player midway through my junior season. So it all hit me at once. AAU for one summer and phone was bringing like crazy afterwards. Just, you know, narrowing down where you want to go is a big decision and it was a lot. Stressful, um, you know, because, you know, at the time they'll ring your phone at any given time. Then you get on the phone and somebody else is beeping in and you're sitting there having a conversation with somebody and they're selling you. So you really got to be able to see, okay, this is what I want to do before you actually go start the recruitment process. As a mentor, that's the one thing that I take serious. Not only am I working on the player, I'm working on the person. Anger management is one thing. Hygiene is another thing. Go into different rooms and be able to succeed. On the court, just on the court. But off the court, life is still life. Look, this is what you need to do. You need to stay away from this, focus. We just want to make sure you build the whole person because it's a life after basketball. It's a life outside of basketball. You know, as, as history shows, a lot of athletes get in trouble off the court. You want to make sure that they stay focused off the court so they can focus what they got to do on the court. My name is Micah Davenport. I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. School I attended was Harrisburg High School, and I played uh, basketball. Made Big 15 twice, honorable mention as a sophomore, two May Penn titles, two district championships, high school All-American that year also. Yeah, so I made the high school All-American. Honorable, like honorable mention of McDonald's All-American. Then the state championship. State championship was 97-98. Uh, so we got the May Penn, the district, and the state. At the end of the loss last year against Plymouth White Marsh, we knew that if we got back to the drawing board and worked our butts off, we could play for the state championship. Luckily, we had an opportunity to knock off White Marsh to get here. We feel real good about it. We're the state champions, and, you know, history's history, so no one could ever take it away from us. It is a shirt that Coach made, and those players on there are the ones that they need to acknowledge, research, there's a lot of YouTube film that can show, you know, those players there. We had a plan the year before in the state tournament. The team that we lost to from the White Marsh wind up going to win the state that year. We didn't stop though. You know, some people want to take it this amount of time off. We was back, we lost on Saturday, we was in the gym on Monday. Everybody collectively was in the gym Monday. We weren't going out there just to, we weren't just showing up to show up. So every practice had a, a, a mission, and we was pushing each other to the fullest. Got into AAU, went to Venezuela that summer, traveled, but continued to work on basketball game. I'm about to leave. Coach, you know, Coach Ross at the time was my big man coach, and we was in the gym four or five days a week. You know, even though I'm leaving this weekend, I got practice over here for AAU. I got practice over here for. Um, going to Venezuela, so all this is going on at the same time, but never not once tied away from any any of it. Other players, we're going, they're going to this camp, we're going to this camp, like we just focused on getting better. And we had individual work. Sometimes I would go to uh, the court by my house was uh, Radnor Park. I would go up there just to get some shots up, work on my foul shooting, which by the way, if I would've made some foul shots, I would've got a thousand. So, you know, my foul shooting was like horrible. Worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. And that's when we came back to the gym, it was just no no games. We had no time for anything else but make sure we won this game, we won this thing, um, the championship. That was the real. Seeing the plan come through and then winning the state championship, now that puts in my mind, if I focus on whatever I'm doing, I could do anything. You know, you gotta put the work in, but it will pay off for you. It wasn't a dream to us, it was planned out from the beginning. You know, we came out and played hard through the whole season, throughout the whole state. Everybody said we was going to make it through District 1 teams. We proved to everybody that we're number one. 
If you want to see more hometown athletes, coaches, or trainers, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out findaballer.com. Thanks for watching.